Well, I think the biggest concern in 2018 um, is likely to be central bank tightening. So the Fed is increasing interest rates and reducing its balance sheet. Uh, the European Central Bank, the ECB, is uh, tapering or likely to taper over the course of the year. There's a question mark about whether the Bank of Japan will lift its zero rate uh, yield curve control policy. And so for the first time in many, many years, we'll have some of the major central banks raising rates. And the big question is, can uh, the economies of the world handle those rate rises and can equity markets and risk markets in general handle higher interest rates. What's important for the, for the market going into 2018 is how central banks move away from QE. So we, we're going to see the Fed start to unwind the balance sheet and what's important will be to see how, how markets take this. So for, for the moment, the announcement of this, the markets have taken very, very well. So the question will be if, if the Fed increase the pace at which they unwind, will the market reaction go from orderly to disorderly? Inflation in the Eurozone is, is super low. It's well below uh, the European Central Bank's target. And that means that the ECB can go very slowly in removing some of the excess accommodation that it's put in place over the last several years. The Bank of England is in a slightly different situation. Inflation is, is much higher um, than in the Eurozone. It's actually uncomfortably high relative to the Bank of England's target, admittedly in part because uh, of a weak value for the pound. But that, uh, that aside, um, the Bank of England probably has to do a little bit more work in order to bring inflation levels in the UK economy back to target. The ECB will wind down the APP in 2018. The reason I say they will is because they have to. They have to reduce the monthly purchase rate in order to ease for longer. So to maintain a persistent presence, to, which they need to do to continue to support the euro area and to wait for inflation to rise, they need to reduce the monthly purchase rate. So a taper in terms of the reduction in the monthly purchase rate is inevitable. So the most pressing concern of our investors in 2018 is when and how the BOJ will change its monetary policy. And my answer to that is the, uh, in third quarter next year, uh, the BOJ will raise the 10-year target from current zero to 25 basis. The reasons why the BOJ will have to change the, its target is basically three limits that we're talking about. One is the technical limit that the BOJ already owns 60% of JGBs. Uh, in some 2021, they owe 100% of JGBs, so whether or not they like it, they have to finish it. Two, it's the political reasons. There's a growing number of the politicians, even among the Abe government, uh, the, they are the potential cost of the BOJ's uh, artificial buying of JGBs. And three, it's a philosophical, after a four-year experiment, that the, they, the nation realized that the monetary magic really doesn't really work to push up the inflation expectations. Nevertheless, they can still make the economy better without getting 2% inflation. So those are the main three reasons why the BOJ will have to change the target. And the Fed is the only major central bank that's really embarked upon unwinding QE for the first time in, in this kind of shrinking of their balance sheet while raising rates. Now, the, the reasons for that, we think, are you know, them getting ready for and, and anticipating inflation down the road. The U.S. economy is at full employment. So in theory, the, the longer we sit here, we should start to kind of boil inflation and start to rise to the surface. And at the same time, we have financial conditions that are very buoyant. I mean, equity markets are at the highs, credit spreads are at the tights. The Fed you know, view, views that it should be kind of leaning against that a little bit by tightening rates and, and shrinking the balance sheet. The big story for 2018, higher rates globally, catching up the US, weaker dollar and higher interest rates, leading to higher euro and higher pound, and even a stronger yen perhaps in that 2018 period. So for investors, those will be the themes to be watching out for.